Here is the web browser. I'm going to pull up the uh, window manager here so you can see I've got a number of different windows open already. I'm going to get rid of some of them. Again, with that nice little red button there for closing things out. There's that Google search I pulled up before. See, we've got a button here for sharing. You, know, you can send that out to a status update as uh, Twitter or Facebook. There's also support for LinkedIn, uh, Flickr, Picasa. There's a, a lot of really good support, and I'll show you some of the account types a little bit later. Also have bookmarks as well. Could add this as a bookmark if I wanted to, but I'm not really interested in doing that. Instead, I'm going to pull up the uh, Mobile Burn website. still loading but I can get it to respond while it's loading which is pretty nice double tap intelligent zooming and of course multi-touch support as well Let's see if it plays that video there there is built-in flash support video appears to be working quite well And let's uh, pull up one of the other stories. This one talking about the new Google Plus service. You can see the Flash ads running. I'm going to go into the mobile view so you can see what that looks like. A little better suited for a phone. You'll notice if I hit the menu button down here and go to the more menu there are a lot of keyboard shortcuts for use in the browser and you'll find this in a lot of the applications. For example all you have to do is hit the menu button in A to add a bookmark or in menu F to uh, initiate the page search function which is quite handy. Bookmarks have a different view when in portrait mode you saw the sideways scrolling version before when I was in landscape mode. Just comes down to simple thumbnails here. Notice the locked thumbnails though. Those are bookmarks that you can't get rid of unfortunately, which is uh, really rather annoying. You might have noticed on this one screen that I have a camera shortcut there. and It's already built into the bottom, the part that stays there consistently. So maybe I don't think camera is important enough, so fortunately I can change it pick something more to my liking, uh, say browser. Go into the phone application, take a look at the contacts there, that was the favorite list. Full list of contacts here. Pulling them in from all sorts of sources, we've got a uh, Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, all sorts of things going on here. Recent calls and then the phone dialer as well. And you can see you can quickly find a contact just by typing on the 12 key keypad here. And I'm going to place that call just so you can see how it works. Jump out the call, you can see the pulsating green at the top indicating the monocall. And I can end the call right from the notification area, which is pretty handy. 3G mobile hotspot support. So you can share your data connection over Wi-Fi with other devices. Costs an additional fee, of course. So here we have the camera application loaded. Uh, whenever you move, it automatically tends to focus. It goes green there, and it'll go green again once it refocuses here. Uh, some people probably like that. I don't. I prefer to use the shutter button. There's no way to disable that, unfortunately. You also might notice how blue the uh, color looks in the photo. It's just very cold looking. It's just they're not pleasing photos at all. There's a forward-facing camera though, so you can see me up here recording the video. You can even snap a quick picture. 
flip back around and if we hit the menu button the uh, controls slide out from the bottom tap here to go into video mode and we can record a quick 1080p video I'll just move around a little bit you can see there's the color balance getting a little bit better but it's just um, it really wants to go cold it really makes the, a lot of the photos unpleasant even when outside I'll stop that and tap up here so we can take a look at it Now the quarter HD display really looks good with the videos. Uh, did see a little bit of a choppiness in some of the samples I shot before, but otherwise it's been pretty good. Except for, of course, you know, the cold look to it. Motorola supplies its own gallery application. You can see it's even pulling in things from social networking sources. Go into camera roll here and I can see my own photos that I've shot. By default, the uh, camera shoots in a 6 megapixel widescreen format that fits the display better. Basically makes really narrow photos. It's a good look at the flash. You can see how center focused it is there. And it doesn't seem to light up when you're uh, trying to focus, which is unfortunate. Cool panoramic view mode. Let's see if I can zoom in. It's very easy to take a photo with it. And the uh, seams are pretty good does a pretty good job of uh, stitching everything together. Now that we're in landscape mode, you have a different view. Um, macro support seems to work pretty well. Not too bad there. Let's see if I can show you one of the later photos I shot that is in the full 8 megapixel resolution. You can see it doesn't totally fit the aspect ratio of the display. Focus is pretty sharp though. The pictures look pretty decent up close. You know, it's just the lacking the, the deep warmer colors that uh, people prefer to see. Motorola supplies a uh, basic file manager here. We see I don't have a SD card here and go through the internal storage. Take a look at the uh, images folder right there. You can even see some of the pictures we were just looking at. Works pretty decently. Go back to the menu again and um, see we've got Nova HD which is a uh, high def version of the uh, first person Nova shooter game which is cool. Quick office support for getting into um, you know PDF files as well as uh, you know Word documents, Excel spreadsheets, all that kind of stuff, even PowerPoint. Skype mobile. I'm now logged into Skype and you can see some of my contacts here that are online including uh, Stuart here from PocketLint. Notice the lack of video call options so you can send IMs and you can place voice calls but even though the generally available Android uh, Skype client supports video calls the one built into the Motorola Droid 3 does not. Do a quick demonstration of the voice command system. Please say a command. Send message Jack Black Mobile 1. Jack Black, mobile one, opening message. There's no speech to text facility uh, built into that system though. You do have access to Google. Hey Jack, it's Michael. We can't do lunch tomorrow. Sorry. Lastly, I'm going to give you a quick look at the music player. You can see you have uh, multiple ways of accessing your tracks, playlists and genres included. If you're in the album view and you go into a landscape mode, you get a cool uh, 3D scrolling view of the album co covers, which is pretty neat. Just uh, tap on one and bring it up. to the home screen. See we've got uh, controls up there in the notification area. You can add a widget to control music playback as well. I'm 
I'm going to lock the device and see if we have any access to music on the lock screen. Just tap here and then you see we've got controls for uh, pausing or uh, switching tracks and then we can unlock the device. Drag down here and go back to the application itself. So that's my quick look at the very capable Motorola Droid 3 for Verizon Wireless. Uh, good dual core processing, a nice feature set and fantastic keyboard. It's available now for $199.99 on contract or for $459.99 uh, without a contract. For MobileBurn.com, I'm Michael Oral. Thanks for watching.